welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a new video, guys. Natty Garage is here today presenting to you a new build. And let me go ahead and show you guys what we got over here. So we got ourselves an LCI E90 with the N54 engine. This thing is fully M Sport. If you guys look in here, it has the nice sport seats, nice aluminum trim, has a really nice DCT paddle steering wheel, which is really nice. Has the M Sport wheels. These are really hard to find and good shape. They are actually very rare for the E90. This thing is a full M Sport E90 335, as you guys can see down here. Not to mention the fact that this one is an N54. So we figured since it is such a cool spec, we are gonna go ahead and rebuild this one. And let me go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna be rebuilding it with. Here is the other car that we are gonna be rebuilding building that other E90 with. We got ourselves a second E90 335 with the N54, also an LCI. So these are two matching cars, except this one is not an M Sport. It does have sport seats, but it has base bumpers and the stock 335i wheels. This one is completely stock. This is a stock N54. They actually have about the same amount of miles. They are both around 120,000 miles. We're going to be using this 335 to rebuild the other one. This one did have some undercarriage damage, but we literally have all the other parts needed for that front end hit on the other car. So the headlight looks good. Uh, the fender looks good. So we are probably gonna be reusing those for that build as well as a few other little components over here. So yeah guys, this should be a fun little rebuild on a nice quick little car. These E90s are really fun to drive. This one is gonna be a fun one. Let's go ahead, get started on taking apart the other car. Alrighty guys, so luckily it looks like this oil cooler is good. The headlight was good. We're gonna go ahead and take off this radiator support, see if this is good, if we can reuse this one, then we will. Right now, taking off this radiator support. We will see if there's any other damage. It looks like there's a CSF, a radiator actually, full aluminum radiator. So we're curious to see if that thing is in good shape or if it's damaged. Most likely it's damaged. That'd be like $600 worth of radiator. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and check if that thing is good. If not, it is what it is, but that would be a nice little plus. Yeah guys, so right here, it looks like there is a nice aluminum, like, radiator. It looks like it's pretty good shape, huh? <laughs> From the top. <laughs> From the top, it looks like it's good, guys, but um, it looks like underneath, it might be a little bit uh, damaged. Oh, wow. That's actually I've crazy. I've never seen that. I've literally never seen that before. It's perfect up front. Is that a mod? More airflow? Maybe? More there? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That's know. weird, right? It is weird. It's just cracked. Oh, well. We're gonna toss that to the side, guys. Unfortunately, the uh, bumper is no good. It looks like there's actually some cracks on the radiator support. The headlights, though, did look good. So ideally, if the headlights are good, then we're looking pretty solid for the uh, rebuild. Let's go ahead and check out the condition of this. Looks to be CSF uh, radiator. I mean, it is CSF. That's freaking crazy. I'm crazy. Look at that. Tries. Dang, full CSF radiator. CSF These are radiator. actually really pricey. Holy crap. And they're good quality. They're good quality. CSF probably makes some of the best stuff, guys, when it comes to cooling parts for uh, your BMW. What you guys saw a few days ago was us actually fully disassembling the E90 parts car. So we ended up getting a parts car to fix our beautiful 335i M Sport. This is a true M Sport. So not all the parts that's gonna come off this E90 is gonna work on this. For example, like the front bumper, that is a true M Sport front bumper. We're gonna have to find that at like $800 or something like that. We'll figure that out another day. But a lot of things we got off of this car, our donor car is sitting right over here. Like these headlights, we have these beautiful adaptive headlights. We have the front suspension, a lot of the stock parts, like the intakes, uh, stock down pipes, stock uh pretty much everything stock inlets outlets charge pipe we we have to do everything stock because this thing's full bolt-on uh the good news is we will have full inventory of full bolt-ons for you guys so make sure to follow us on natty auto parts the link down below we're gonna be posting that stuff on our instagram they only list and sell on our instagram because they go quickly we don't post them on ebay uh so again make sure to follow us on instagram to see that uh but yeah we do have all the stock parts to put it back to stock reason being again we live in california we got to make sure this thing passes all state regulations laws whatever you call them so the first thing we're gonna go and do is literally just start disassembling. Woo! I don't know, 
job, guys. The thing is, uh, we might try to take this to our body guy and see if this is repairable. I typically will not ever try to repair a bumper, but when a bare bumper is going for $800 on a car that's this old, it's kind of ridiculous. But uh, I, I think it's all here. My biggest concern is this section right over here, if this is repairable. Again, I'll take it to my buddy guy. If he says that's repairable, this is easily repairable, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, we still need all these grills and all these other things. Uh, but the rest of the bumper, it's looking mighty fine, mighty fine, not too shabby. We keep saying it like that. <laughs> rut row. Rut row. <laughs> we got our issue. We got an issue, guys. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Want to help me carry this real quick? I have to find out if that front frame piece is bent or not. This one is just an extra spare one. We have two or three sets of these, so we're not going to use this one for this car, but. Something in the center is not lining up. This one's bent. Yeah. Yeah, this one's a little bit. Okay, we'll go to another one. You got another one, yeah. All right, you're in 54, boys, now, and it's time we get in 54. One of the big ticket items is Index 12. Index 12 is a boy. This is LCI. Got some good mods, right? You got the Mishimoto little catch can outlets, charge pipe. H&R Springs, yeah. So this guy kind of knew what he was doing. He doesn't have a lot of eBay on here, so we're going to hope that, you know, one of the most important things are injectors. Even <laughs> if you don't get Index 12s, you simple. do have to run through them and see which ones are leaking. Yeah. Because you can, I've seen people do in the past, some people say the ones are the best, fives are the best. People say five, nines, and twelves, but five realistically, twelves. the twelves are yeah, hands twelves down are superior. The best. Like, I mean, you just put them in, you're done. Yeah. And you're not worrying about <laughs> it again. You can put fives in, and you might get them leaking a little later. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. So we're going to check C in the twelves, hopefully. What's a brand new set of twelves right now? Like three grand? Three grand. That's insane. Yeah, it's it's really stupid. So we're hoping this has index twelves because if this has index twelves, we can market it as being like properly maintained. Yeah, it's had the oil pan done before, you could tell. Trans pan's leaking, we're gonna replace that right now. Okay, so. let's see. One, two. Well, let's see. So twelve, twelve, twelve. 12, 12. All 12? All 12, son. Hey, see, I told you. So this is a proper 54 right here. This is, you have to know what you're doing on these N54s to get them to run properly. And it looks like this guy honestly did some high quality mods uh, as well as the Index 12. So theoretically, if he's spending money on Index 12s, he has enough money to do proper maintenance all around. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. So they're very finicky, like you said, and there's little things you have to do them a certain way. Because if you do them the right way, John's experienced it. I've experienced it. Like yeah, if it, like the most dude. reliable, you drive that car down the street as hard as you want, and it's gonna be reliable. And That's it's gonna the be thing. reliable. If yeah. you do it properly, honestly, N54s are some of the most reliable BMWs because it's like N54 is related to like being unreliable. But if you do it proper, these things will actually be bulletproof. I literally had no issues with my 335, and I put like 6,000 miles daily drove it. Yeah, yeah. Literally never any issues. So, yeah, exactly. and remember, kids, N54 is better than N55. We thought it was leaking oil this whole time and because uh, it was collecting on the gravel shield and dripping in a certain area so it looked like it was oil but after we dropped the gravel shield it was the transmission pan is leaking running forward towards the engine and then dripping so it wasn't oil it was the transmission pan we're guessing it probably just when you're driving these cars anything goes under the car and kind of hits the pan it'll crack it and leak i thought this pan looked pretty good off this transmission we have here so we're just gonna take this pan it's actually been replaced in 2022 so it's a brand new pan put this on that car refill it with its original fluids and then we'll put the crack pan on here which is good because we have to empty these out anyways when we ship them or anything like that so um, we'll just let the customer know hey use your old pan or you're gonna need a new pan on this one Yes, it's exactly. still a good transmission, so yeah. works out. It's perfect. We got a pretty much brand new oil pan for this car, so this thing's gonna be fully maintained, dude. Yeah. Oh, and well, we need to talk about the, the thing that we found on the back of the trunk. Actually, let me go ahead and pop open this trunk real quick. Alrighty, and also, guys, in this trunk we have this box in here. Someone was casually looking through it, and it turns out the previous owner actually replaced the rod bearings, believe it or not. So these look to be the, like the old rod bearings that were originally on the car. So it's possible that this engine has had extensive rod work bearings, done on it. Which makes sense, like these are these are those rod bearings, because look, they're not too worn, because M54 doesn't have a lot of rod bearing issues. They don't. And then 
the uh, front main seal and the rear main seal. Yep, so everything's been replaced on this car. This is a solid N54. Recently done too when we got it. So this is the kind of person that doesn't only do modifications, they actually do all their maintenance. Proper maintenance too. All of it. Like who does raw bearings on N54? Unless yeah, you have to. So I mean, this car is just immaculately maintained. It's such a good car too. N54, M Sport, LCI. And it was a good spec, keyless entry, sport black. It was like a nice gray color on the black. Like this is a nice car. It's like nobody can complain about this car. Yeah. Cause LCI, M Sport, and it's not N55. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like let's be honest. I wouldn't. I would never want to buy an M55, you know, M Sport, just because. I'm telling you guys, those M55s say, you know, hate me all you want, but they're not as reliable as the M54s. So guys, uh, finally, finally, it's been actually a few days, maybe even a week since we last recorded on this car. We got everything mechanically perfectly sound. We got the suspension fully fixed on this car. Um, there's really no issues with the interior, no airbags deployed, you no know, nothing. Just purely cosmetic at this point. Uh, oil cooler bracket replaced, radiator support slapped on here. If I actually pull this up right now, you guys can see, uh, we ended up replacing all these parts as well. Now we did end up finding a small little kink right here that probably won't affect too much in terms of uh, fitment of everything. But because, you know, here in Addy Auto Parts, we are working for perfection. Uh, a car like this also deserves that kind of perfection. This is an M Sport, true M Sport E90, 335i, N54. These are actually really hard to come by nowadays. So that little bend is not gonna cost us too much to pull out by a professional. So we're gonna go ahead, replace this hood. We finally got another hood, replace the bumper. I just ordered an M Sport. Uh, OEM factory bumper uh, primer, so that's gonna be ready to go as well. We have a paint match uh, fender and we have headlights. So I'm gonna put, go ahead and put all that stuff on the car real quick. Go to our frame guy and then actually get that stuff, uh, you know, readjusted. This being pulled out and uh, just looking like perfection. So guys, we got the hood, we have the fender, we have the two headlights in the trunk. Now we finally made an appointment to get this thing, uh, you know, the frame and everything sorted on this car. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys on the journey. It is a little bit of a drive, but uh, it's definitely worth it. And we just finally got here. So the blessing, honestly, with having our shop at this location, we literally have a paint guy, a frame guy, and a body shop guy on the other side. So it's really kind of crazy that we have everyone on the street to help us make sure that our cars are A1. So guys, about a month later, we are back with the E90 335. And I don't even think we actually even uploaded a video because we're trying to do all our rebuilds in one video. That's honestly becoming more of a challenge just because cars like this, things end up sitting. We couldn't get a front bumper for this car for the life of us. We ended up getting a brand new bumper and we ended up painting it right over here as well, which took another like two weeks to get that painted. It took like two weeks for this bumper to come in. We ended up ordering all these grills brand new as well because the ones on this bumper is clapped. So that being said, yeah, we ended up ordering a lot of brand new parts for this car. And then I don't know if you guys can see as well, we actually ended up getting a different hood. I think the last hood that was on this car had, had a bunch of dings on it. The paint was clapped. The only issue with this one is this little dent right over here. Um, this could probably get PDR'd, so it's not a big deal. But other than that, the front end's finally looking really, really, really good. This front end is unfortunately from an E92 though. So uh, we do need to swap out this crash bar. It is a difference. So for those of you guys who get a front support, the support itself is the same and a bolt on the same, but I think even this is different. Yeah. So instead of just removing the crash bar, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this entire radiator support again, slap on our E90 uh, radiator support again, which the main difference is is gonna be the crash bar and these bad boys, the rest of it should be theoretically the same, but that also prevents us from putting on the bumper because E90 bumpers are different from E92, obviously. That being said, I need to breathe. This car is almost done. Like it's running and driving, N54. This engine actually had the raw bearings you guys saw earlier um, that was done to this engine. So it was really, really, really well kept. So that's why we're kind of dumping the money to make sure that this thing is restored to perfection. We ended up also getting that frame thing repaired. So as you guys can see, the gaps are looking absolutely amazing. I don't know what happened with the headlight here, but this after sitting outside for like a month, I don't know what that is. I just have to repolish that, but that's not a big deal. So guys, let's go ahead and take a step back on the dismantling and start actually saving this beautiful E90 335.
So guys, we got the bumper chilling right over here. It looks absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love these. I actually just realized we don't have PDC, do we? No. Oh, thank the Lord. That would have been. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Another two days in delays. But anyways, this bumper looks absolutely beautiful. He also did a really good job painting. This is actually our neighbor, like two, two units over that painted this for us. Super happy with the results. Just go ahead and get all the new grill pieces, get them all installed so we can slap this new bumper on the car. Good. The car is slowly coming together. one of those few builds that actually goes right when completing. I cannot believe how smooth this one's been compared to all the other rebuilds we've been doing here on this channel and just a few other ones me and Jotha just been doing on the side. This one honestly was a perfect car when we got it and after fixing it now it's pretty much damn near perfect which I'm really 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 excited and happy about. If you guys could check this out this is a true M Sport uh, 335i with the sports seats. Um, he actually put in a uh, I think just DCT paddles M Sport steering wheel standard steering wheel but DCT paddles black headlight CIC trim, navigation. It's just a really, really nice car. The car is lowered on h &R lowering springs. The car, as you guys saw earlier, had rod bearings done to it. A bunch of maintenance items. Actually, the previous owner, did we actually find out who the previous owner yeah, was? Yeah, we actually met him. He was a mechanic him. from BMW. Yeah. Or, he was a mechanic from BMW. He did the rod bearings. And who does rod bearings on an N54? So like, this thing's ready for power. It was full bolt-on when we got it. But again, we live in California. We gotta put it fully back to stock, pass emissions and all that stuff to get it ready for a new owner. Came together really good. It did. Kind of want to start updating you guys on what's going on here on the channel here pretty soon we do have a few other things going on we are dismantling this e91 wagon uh this is all on the present day so the video so you guys are seeing this video uh this is literally the next day uh for us so all this is what's currently updated here at the shop so we got the wagon we're currently parting out we have a 330i manual swap which i don't think we dropped the video on that yet right nope nothing yet so we do have a 330i we're manual swapping because these trainees are horrendous and uh we're trying to honestly do this baby good it's a clean title really good spec We'll get into that in a separate video. Right over here, obviously, we got the uh, beautiful E9103 just posted, you know, we just here to admire it every single day, just looking at the beast, perfecting it little by little. And then showing right over here is the rerun out of my E91 M3 because uh, I'm going broke, guys. I need to start selling some stuff and I figured the first thing I should do is pull out the rear, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, this came out of our E92 with uh, not E90, E90, E90 with E90 only 80,000 miles on it. Um, our boy Thick Whips actually ended up copping this. So we are going to throw this on a pallet. Uh, not this pallet, obviously. We need to make a perfect pallet for this to make sure it is shipped safely and get this out to him for his, I think, his 1M build. So it's going to be pretty sick. He's doing a pretty sick build, and I'm happy that we're sending this out to him. It's going to be pretty sick. Uh, so that's that. But that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. Again, I'm very, very happy how that 335 came out. I think that's going to have to be it, right? Yep. So we'll see you guys in the next one. So I'm going to do the whole, you know, proper nor outro. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.